Hi, my name is Tim Long. I'm the CEO and founder of New Life Medical Centers, a primary care facility, and BioFit20, which is a fitness, health, and longevity company. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about peptides. And we love peptides. And there's a reason why, because our philosophy at the, the clinic and at BioFit is we want the patient and client to be as healthy as possible and as medication-free as possible. And that's why we call the company BioFit, because we we have learned how through science and research over the past years, how to hack the body's own natural systems to accomplish the same goals that you want to accomplish, whether it's weight loss, muscle mass gain, functional movement, whatever it may be. We have learned how to do that <clears throat> through diet exercise and some peptides that we're going to talk about. So we, <clears throat> our philosophy is we want patients and clients to be medication free or as medication free as possible. We're not anti-medication. But we are pro, let's treat the problem instead of treating a symptom. So we're more about getting patients off medication at all possible and using only things that are natural because we know that you can accomplish your goals naturally and you don't need a lot of excess supplementation, especially stuff that you see like the gyms and these guys on steroids and stuff like that. So <clears throat> well, I'm going to talk to you today about peptides because peptides are very effective at accomplishing the goal they're designed to accomplish. They're also safe and you already have them in your body. Now, what is a peptide? A peptide is just a, an amino acid and it depends on how many molecules are in that amino acid, anywhere from five to up to 50. Once it gets over 50 molecules, it's considered a protein. So, but in our human bodies right now that we know of, we know of over 7,000 peptides that our bodies use on a daily basis. And that's one reason they're so safe is because they're already naturally occurring in your body. And all they have done it with, with at pharmacies, they've just reformulated it synthetically because some of these peptides you just can't get enough of out of the human body. Like one we'll talk about, which is called the Recovery Master, is made from gastric juice. Well, we can't get enough gastric juice from humans, so they synthetically created it. But it accomplishes the same thing. So all a peptide does is it tells the cells and molecules in your body what function to perform and how to perform it properly and optimally. But as we all age, those become less and less, they lose their uh, strength and ability. So just like with human growth hormone, as you get older, every decade you lose about 15% of your human growth hormone. Hormone therapy, testosterone for men, <clears throat> it's about the same for women as well. So what these peptides do, they just go back in and turn your body back on and turn those systems and organs back on. Um, so for example, <clears throat> one of the ones we use in the clinic, we've been researching this for about four years. Uh, I have personally used peptides because we test these and we've worked with patients and tested them and tried them before we want to offer them to our patients as a whole. Um, also today, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, scientific detail, <clears throat> because one, I'm just getting over COVID. Uh, but two, and that's not what most people want to know. They just want to know, does it work and what can it do for me? But if you do want to know the research and see all the details in the science, go to our website. You'll see links to hundreds and not thousands yet, but definitely hundreds of research studies that you can click on that link and go directly to that study and read the whole thing for yourself. So let's get back to peptides. Well, one of the peptides we use in the clinic is... Uh, we, what we call the fat destroyer 3x and in clinical studies the this peptide has been shown to burn three times as much fat as the compared to the placebo group so what this placebo what this uh, peptide does is it targets specifically the obese fat cells predominantly now it targets all fat cells but it predominantly targets obese fat cells. It also helps prevent your body from turning excess energy into fat. Um, it, it speeds up your metabolism, but again, it targets the obese fat cells. Now, where are you gonna find those? Typically for men, men in the abdomen, right around the belly, and women in the hips, or it depends on where you carry legs, wherever you carry it. So you can't actually target certain fat areas, fatty areas. Another one we offer is called Recovery Master. <clears throat> excuse me, it, what it's designed for, and what we use it for is patients who just have this nagging injury doesn't go away, like tendonitis, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, knee problems, shoulders, pull muscles in the back. Um, if they have gut issues as well, if they have IBS, we'll prescribe this. 
um, just for general pain and help recovery, muscle recovery. Uh, what, we have, what we have seen, what they've seen in studies is that patients are able to recover quicker and faster, less soreness, which means they're able to work out more as well. So that's what we'll use a recovery, uh, the Recovery Master Peptide for is for patients who are working out hard or overtraining and need to overcome that pain so they can get back to working out again. Um, another one we offer is called the Appetite Killer. And it truly is an appetite killer. It, we, with this one, it, in the studies, it, uh, we had a study over 803 patients in the first 20 weeks, because the first uh, 16 to 20 weeks, you're going to slowly titrate that dose up. And in the first 20 weeks, the average patient lost 10, I think it was 10.2%. It's 10 point something percent of their body weight, not body fat, total body weight. After 64 weeks, the average patient lost 15.3% of their total body weight. So it's pretty effective. Uh, obviously, it suppresses the appetite, so you're not hungry. So you're, you, you basically naturally restrict your calories. You're not eating as much. Well, we have seen a problem with this peptide, and most of we don't consider a problem, but we do, because we don't like to restrict calories, because uh, we want patients to keep their metabolism as roaring and as high as possible. So when the patients are on this, we have to make sure they're eating enough calories, because they, they don't get hungry. But what's great about it, too, is when you're not hungry, you can pick and choose what you're going to eat, because you're not craving anything. So Appetite Killer is crazy. I love it. It works great, but you have to make sure you still eat. Uh, another one we offer is called a muscle builder. Now this one, we have two that are very similar. Uh, this one is, the, it's really anti-aging and it increases human growth hormone and it will, um, everything, knee pain, joint pain, hair, skin, aesthetics, <clears throat> muscle recovery. And because it increases your human growth hormone naturally, which means your body self-regulates, so it just it can't get out of whack, it can't get too high, you're not gonna have any real side effects, is you can actually grow new muscle fibers. So when you're working out, you're making your muscle fibers that you have bigger, but you're not growing new fibers. But when you combine this with someone who's working out hard, who's eating right, and is, you know, is playing sports or whatever it may be, he can actually grow new muscle fibers, which then he can build up. <clears throat> so that's why a lot of uh, bodybuilders, professionals, they'll use human growth hormone direct, which it's illegal to use human growth hormone. You can't. But let me also stop here and say this. Peptides are not steroids. You are not going to take these and get on the stage and compete like bodybuilders. That's just not going to happen. What this does, all peptides do is they re rejuvenate the body, turn back the clock to back when you're in your early 20s. Then your recovery and your immune, your metabolism, the fat, the ability to keep fat off, the ability to put on muscle mass, if that's what you wanted. That's what peptides are good for. So they're not steroids. So you're not going to have the same side effects as steroids. Peptides, again, like I said earlier, they're already naturally occurring in your body. You're just adding these to it to tell your body functions and organs to turn back on and do their job properly. But with a muscle builder, you can actually, over time, grow new muscle fibers and build muscle. Again, I'm going to be a bodybuilder that's going to compete in Olympia, but you can look pretty good. Then the last one we talk about is longevity. The, uh, this one we use specifically for patients who uh, have type 2 diabetes and type 1 diabetes. It's very similar to the muscle builder. And only stuff is, it's better for those type patients who have issues with blood sugar. And it does the same thing. Uh, knee pain, joint pain, skin aesthetics. It just increases the human growth hormone in a different way. And you get all the great benefits of the anti-aging and the longevity, along with less muscle pain, less muscle soreness. Um, you're able to return back to work or play that. You know, if you're a weekend warrior, helps you recover from that. And you'll see a lot of the benefits too, like in hair, skin, and things like that. So <clears throat> those are the peptides that we use most often in the clinic. There's others we, can, we, we have as well. But peptides have been proven in research to be safe, very effective. Uh, they're pretty cost effective too. And the best way to get a peptide uh, is to make sure you're getting it from, uh, getting a prescription from a provider. That's the only way you're gonna know that you're actually getting the, the peptide that you're gonna get and the quantity and the effect of the, the rate, the strength that you're looking for. 
Uh, you're going to see more and more about peptides and over-the-counter supplements and stuff like that. And most of those can't get through the digestive tract. You know, they're not really effective. So if you have any, any questions about peptides and what they can be used for, or something you, you want to help with your goals or accomplish your goals and your needs, give us a call. We'd be glad to help.